wondering like for both of you guys I mean you've spent so much time abroad in so many different countries like what do, would you be able to say what it is that keeps you going to places like Pakistan Afghanistan and whatever <laughs> difficult question yeah. maybe maybe we're just a little insane I don't yeah. know uh, in a good way <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a good it's curiosity yeah. it's yeah. it's going off the unbeaten path it's going to places that not a lot of people get to go. I think it's just curiosity, really, yeah. And also, you know, um, being able to do the work that we do. Um, sure, I'm sure we could do development work and relief work in our own countries, but it yeah. uh, seems like if you get to experience somebody else's culture and immerse yourself in an unfamiliar culture, it's, it's all the more rewarding. Um, I don't know, I just find being outside of home is just, it's more, a, a more rich experience. Um, being uncomfortable, uh, I, I feel like just gives you so many more experiences. Yeah, yeah. it like pushes you yeah, a little absolutely. bit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I it's, it's, it's also interesting because uh, Jennifer and I started traveling or, or began international lives at very, very different yeah. phases in our lives. Okay. Um, and I mean, that has a lot to do also with how we feel about going back to, for example, Germany or, or the US. Mm. Um, and I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, for, for Jennifer, she didn't leave until uh, her early 20s. Mm. Um, and, and that was a real sort of mind-opening experience um, that kind of widened her horizon to a point that it didn't fit inside the US anymore. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, and for me, I never, I never knew that constraint because I grew up in so many...